Good day, good people. This is Pastor Lynette with Revelation from St. Croix, Virgin Islands. I want to remind you once more and again that today is a great day. It is a great day to be alive, for this is the day that the Lord has made. And I pray you find a creative way to rejoice and be glad in it. I want to talk to us today about owning our fears. The scripture tells us to fear not, neither be afraid, for the Lord thy God is with you, whether soever thou goest. That has been interpreted in many different ways. And um, however, today I am going to place that in just a literal form. Fear not. Not so much don't be scared because some things are just scary let's just be honest but fear not neither be afraid why let's take the whole sentence because the Lord thy God is with you wherever you go whether it is through the highs the good days or whether you're walking through the valley of the shadow of death he says I'm with you Today, I am going to own one of my fears. I love water. I love to swim. I love wading in the water. I love the ocean. I love the Caribbean Sea and being in it and just ah, so refreshing. The water speaks to me in such ah, powerful ways. And I recall my mom saying much the same. In those settings, I can control <laughs> the amount of water I am in, how deep I go, and when I want to get out. Today, I am owning the fear, the claustrophobia, the fear, water over my head where I cannot get out, I cannot control it, fear looking at someone else and trusting someone else to ensure my safety. I'm going snorkeling today. So the, the glass boat, boat ride, boat tour, that's exciting in and of itself. However, I said, you know what? I'm not gonna do the snorkeling because, uh, and I came up with, oh, a myriad of reasons why I didn't need to do that part of the journey. But this morning when I rose, I was like, why not? Why not? You're here in St. Croix Virgin Islands for six weeks. Not only have you not had a vacation in 10 to 12 years, you certainly haven't been gone more than a month. So you're already doing things that you've never done before. Why? Get to this space where it has been proven time and again that this is absolutely where I am supposed to be at this time in my life and doing what I'm supposed to be doing, why would I allow a fear to prohibit me from sliding out of my comfort zone and into a new expansive space that God has prepared for me. So, not even with fear and trembling, I'm going to go and enjoy my life, enjoy myself in abundance to the full until it overflows and we'll have a great testimony to share when I return. What are you scared of? What fear is holding you in abeyance to really grasping, following, and embracing the goodness of God, the plan and purpose of God for your life, and the fulfillment of your dreams? Whoever said fulfilling your dreams was not going to be a little bit scary, a little bit scary. 
but the dream wells up, the passion wells up in such a way until, you know, it's like, forget the fear, I'm going afraid. And I'm going to keep going until I am no longer afraid. And so here we are. Own your fear. Because you can't heal what you won't admit is there. You may die from it. But you won't necessarily heal from it. Because you're not setting yourself in a space or a mindset of healing because you're denying there's even a problem. So, fear not, my friends, neither be afraid, for the Lord, your God, is with you wherever you go. I love you with the love of the Lord, and I pray you have a fantabulous day.